your daily 180, 180 seconds of pure Bible study. Thank you for being with us today for this, your daily 180 Bible study. We're talking this week about having a proper perspective on self. In James chapter 1, verse number 9, he tells the lowly brother to glory in his exaltation. He tells the rich to glory in their humiliation. And this is so important because as we pointed out at the end of yesterday's study, if we have an inflated view of self or a diminished view of self, it will affect our relationships. It will affect all aspects of life. And one of the ways that will affect our relationships is by the way we speak. Notice what James says in verse number 26. If anyone among you thinks he is religious and does not bridle his tongue but deceives his own heart, this one's religion is useless. Think about that for a minute. A useless religion for the person that goes around and thinks that they can say anything that they want. The person who has an inflated view of themselves might look down on others and say, wow, that useless individual can't do anything. The one who has a diminished view of self might be looking at others and saying, why, they're so unjust and unkind. And You know, the reality is we need to watch the way we speak. Now, this is so uh, uh, crucial. And later on, we're going to be looking at James chapter 3, and we're going to be talking about the way we use our words and our tongue. But I want you to think about this. There is a direct correlation between our tongue and our heart. For Jesus would say in Matthew chapter 12 and verse number 34, for out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Do you understand that our words are an indication of the content of our heart? You might remember the song, Dim Bones. Uh, it would have lyrics like this. Uh, the toe bone is connected to the foot bone. The foot bone is connected to the heel bone. The heel bone is connected to the ankle bone. Well, I want you to get this point. The tongue bone is connected to the heart bone. And whatever our tongue speaks is a reflection of what's in our heart. And if we have an inflated view of self, it's going to come out in our speech. If we have a diminished view of self, it's going to come out in our speech. The lowly brother needs to glory in his exaltation. The exalted brother needs to glory in his humiliation. We need to have a proper view of self and view ourselves as God views us. Thank you for being with us today.